Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and inform you guys of some of the updates that we've been doing to the SSF character. Um, so as you guys know, we created the solo self-found uh, softcore mind build. We're level 89. I had a slow day the other day because I was super hungover, but I progressed a bit yesterday. So I want to talk to you guys about some updates because a lot of stuff happened. Uh, so first off, I want to pull up this little chart here that is basically going to explain some of the goals. I just made it super simple. Uh, TLDR, we found the Tremor Rod. The Tremor Rod, well, that's about it. Uh, we found a Cloak of Defiance drop, which was basically what was gating me from respecting my build from Eldritch Battery to Mind Over Matter. Um, I have successfully done the swap to Mind Over Matter. And then I actually ended up finding a Wise Oak. Everything else here you can see are things that I want to uh, kind of fix. Um, I am going to post this in the comments, but also remember if you come on my stream and you just use the goals command, you can see it right there. But now to go ahead and talk about the character. So the reason why I decided to switch from um, Eldritch Battery to Mind Over Matter, uh, if you guys don't know, with Eldritch Battery, you basically can take your energy shield, strip it over your, um, your mana pool instead of your life pool, and then when you cast spells, it will take from that instead of your mana pool. The only pro actually not even a problem and also you're not affected by the energy shield recharge um, because you're not taking damage to recharge it so you actually scale off of regen if i'm i think i'm correct there i could be a little wrong on that but for sure i'm quite sure that's how it worked and the problem was is i wanted to play acrobatics because i feel acrobatics plus blind plus just in general the way trapper's play style is is very good and it was very difficult um, trying to maintain my mana pool or my energy shield pool with acrobatics, trying to not run discipline with everything else. I'd have like a 1.3k mana pool or energy shield pool, and I would still run out of energy shield. And I came to a conclusion that if you're in the early stages of leveling, the best thing to do is try to get this mod here, which is the 90 energy shield regen per second while a rare or unique enemy is around. And you can actually craft this on a chest piece as well, so you can have 180. And that should sustain you for a long time. So basically, I decided to do the swap over to Mind Over Matter, which I have been loving so much more. Uh, all I really needed was my Cloak of Defiance, and then I swapped over some hybrid crafts. So you can see here's a Life and Mana Craft, and then I have another Life and Mana Craft, I think, here. And that's really about it. As for the tree, um, the tree looks much better now for me. Like, I actually can make use of Quick Recovery. It's not just shitty Life Notes now. It's Life Notes with Mana Regen. Uh, I decided to come down here for Sanctity because I actually have this Energy Shield buffer, which now gets restored automatically with this. So it's actually like 4.2k life with 800 ES, and I have 1.5k mana, but 40% of it uh, gets hit to my mana. And, you know, there's a lot to scale. The character's SSF, so my gear is not that good, but, like, Righteous Decree is super great. Um, Soul Siphon is okay. I would rather Deep Thoughts, but I have to, like, work back up here. And then I've got uh, Mind Drinker. And then other than that, I haven't really changed much gear on the character. Uh, you can see everything's pretty standard for the most part. Um, I'm running Clarity, Herald of Ash, and Precision. Precision doesn't really cost much. Clarity costs a little bit, but really helps with the mono regen. I mean, sitting with no Rallying Cry or anything, I'm at 194. Arcane Surge puts us to 221. Uh, we're going to be doing a red map on basically a pseudo 4 slash 5 link. Uh, fireball. I'm just going to call it like a four link because even though Tremor Rod's really good, it doesn't give me like crit multi or anything, um, which is kind of what I need at my current state with my character. And then we've got the four link Flame Surge. So it's just Flame Surge, Remote Mind, Alley Focus, Trap, and Mind Damage. A lot of people ask me why I don't use Minefield. Uh, the reason why I don't use Minefield on my Flame Surge is when I'm trying to do single target, right, I'm going to stand still and spam Detonate. And if you look here, I can never ever detonate fast enough to get rid of all the mines. That's because I have so much mine laying speed plus minefield. That's why I really want to get the plus one helmet, because once I get a helmet with plus one mines, I can remove minefield from my main setup, and my flame surge pretty much gets double damage. So that's that's pretty nuts. Uh, and then I never have to worry about hitting the cap of maximum mines. So anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and run a map. Apologize if it's a little slow. Remember, a lot of gear to come. Why is my game lagging? Give me one sec. Just a standard shipyard here. 29% more monster life, chance to avoid elemental ailments, and that's really about it. Boss can be kind of tanky.
This is where the extra links would really come in, is like the Kataba Heralds with the monster life. There's some tanky boys. You can see here I got hit, but my ES is still recharging. That's what I was talking about with the uh, 90 ES regen per second that really makes a big difference on these like red map legions. Now remember, I know the legion clear might be a little slow right now. We are... I can't help but explain enough that we're limited by our gear. I know a lot of new players don't really understand what like solo self out means. So just to explain to you, this character has done no training, meaning everything I've done has been acquired uh, solo. So it takes me a little bit more time to progress. You know, if I want to drop from a specific boss, I actually have to go and kill that boss set number of times to actually acquire that piece of gear. Uh, that's indicated at the top right by the solo self-found tag. Another huge, like, power spike for us would be a rolling flames jewel, which is the fireball jewel. We still have not found it. It would allow for uh, some super nice AoE overlapping. Also, this is a really bad map to showcase for this because I can't really, like... <clears throat> I can't really, like, run with my fireballs. Tanky boy! But you can see, we've got great sustain now. When I was Eldritch Battery, I had like 4k life. Oh, Beast Fur, hello. I had like 4k life, maybe like 4.5k, and I couldn't go Mind Over Matter with the Energy Shield pool with EB because I would just go Oom. And I had... Well, I didn't have Uber Lab yet, so I had Blind from my from, uh, what is it, Flesh and Sand, or Blood and whatever it's called, you know what I'm talking about. I had the blind one from there, but, I don't know, I really like this setup much more, and I was thinking of going Blood Magic, and Blood Magic was, an, was a real option for a, a certain point in time, but then I came to the conclusion of, like, the mono region's not that difficult to get nowadays, there's, like, so many different ways of getting mana, which is really nice. This is before even crafting my gear with, like, Lucent Fossils, or... Uh, what else is mono related? That's awesome. Lucent fossils. There's like the temple mod for fossils as well. There's like the what is it? Two percent life regen on boots. That's something really cool. Uh, another thing that happened that was really shit is I'm sure you guys have wondered where my fuses and jewelers went. Well, I have this staff over here called in the craft section. So I wanted to drop the tremor rod because I couldn't support the mana cost when I was EB. So I ended up kind of, uh, I got a six socket eclipse staff and I was like, well, this is probably not worth it to craft. Used like 20 chaos on it, got this, which is not that good. It's okay. It's probably better for the way I'm playing right now, but now that I'm mom, it probably isn't. I used about 400 fuses on this and I ended up unlinking it. If you guys are unaware, getting a complete unlink is the same exact probability of getting a six link. So not only did I not get a five link within 400 fuse, but I also got the backward six link. So our SSF RNG in one aspect has been extreme. Like we found a Tremor Rod, a Cloak of Defiance, and a Wise Oak before level 90, and we're done with the Uber Lab, but I can't get a five link. So it's really kind of like, it's like really on and off, but it's cool. It, it makes it fun, you know, it's very different. Let's see if we can get lucky here with some, who is that Death's Oath card? Oh, Montreal's. Already found a Death's Oath, by the way. Uh, nothing too good. And then I guess to show to show some other gear that we found, I guess I can look at the WTF tab. What's good over here? Hand of Wisdom in action. There's the Death's Oath we found. That's Incinerate. Not very good. That one's okay because it's got the physical damage taken as fire. Nothing too great. That's kind of garbage. This is Aspect of the Avian. Oh yeah, I think this is the one we found. Th this was super good for our build. It gives base crit chance, 35 crit multi, flat ES, percent ES, 72 life. And it has a suffix open. No, it doesn't. It has a resistance open for a monocraft. The problem with this is that my current amulet gives strength and dex, and I need strength and dex, but this will be a nice upgrade for our build. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Oh, we also found a carcass, but I'm not using that, so. 
Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, since I don't really use Path of Building, if you always want to take my updated builds, all you have to go do is import my profile and just take the character Pox Went Scrub Core and make sure you select the import jewels and import passive tree. Uh, otherwise, you can always find my profile on the POE profile. Uh, you can use the profile command in Twitch or you can always just read the description. Uh, I always have my profile linked in the description of YouTube. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time and I will see you guys all tomorrow.